New Tonight Date Night returns to the Queen City after a year of mask mandates and capacity limits. Now many singles are ready re to return to the dating scene. But as Fox 46's Ryan Kruger shows us, looking for love post-COVID brings some unexpected challenges. It's date night in Charlotte. Couples all over the Queen City are meeting up, hoping to find their soulmate. For some, that means shaking off the rust after a year away. You had to take a year off almost. Rod Carter is looking for love in Charlotte. After essentially taking the last year off the dating scene, he's ready to dive in head first. But there's some awkwardness when it comes to meeting new people. You don't know where they stand, like as far as their, like if they may or may not be vaccinated, you don't know, or, or they uh, may or may not be okay with talking to people that they don't know or be comfortable with that if you don't talk with your mask on and then the mask, like it covers half your face. But for some couples, the mask never got in the way. Tell me, uh, tell me the story. How did you all meet? <laughs> uh, we met on a dating app. We met on him. Meet Andy Nielsen and Katie McCleary. We're talking to them the same way they started their relationship, virtually. Nearly a year later, they're now a committed couple, and believe it or not, they think the pandemic made it easier for their relationship to blossom. Yeah, I feel like the pandemic was like a nice dry run of, you know, having to set boundaries because that was the state of the world. Um, and so it, it added a certain level of comfort of being able to ask someone questions who maybe you haven't met before, but you're like, I, I really kind of need to know these things about you before we meet up. Speaking of boundaries, several dating apps are making it easier to dip your toes into dating comfortably. Hinge, Tinder, Match and Bumble are offering special incentives to people who roll up their sleeves, including badges showing vaccination status and free access to premium content. Other dating apps like OkCupid will even let you filter out potential partners based on whether or not they've gotten the vaccine. As far as the mask, though, that remains a tricky situation for singles. There's definitely kind of that second step, like, ah, oh, should I wear my mask? But you know, I think it's going to be kind of a thing from this kind of the new norm, as people would say. As far as advice, our COVID couple says, don't be afraid to ask questions. Just because things are opening up again doesn't mean that you shouldn't, you know, always be asking questions, making sure that people are okay with things, um, you know, in, in any capacity, uh, making sure that everyone is uh, comfortable. Here's to many more dates and many more happy couples. In Charlotte, Ryan Group, Fox 46. I mean, I know people that started dating right at the beginning of COVID mm -hmm. and now they're engaged because like they were saying, it kind of forced you to get to know each other a get, little bit more. Get to know each other better and differently. Mm -hmm. And uh, yeah, and I can see also where it goes on the other side too, where you kind of a little bit more standoffish and you may want to choose a little bit more wisely. I love the music in, the, in that, by the way. <laughs>